Okay, folks, today I want to talk about SS2 switch that goes on the air handling equipment, the SS3 switch that goes on the emergency pans. Okay, this right here is an emergency pan, horizontal application. This right here is an auxiliary pan for vertical applications. On a vertical unit and both horizontal, your SS3 switch will go and it will clip on the unit. And if you notice, there's a little metal bracket here. Also, I want to point out one more thing. There's a nut here. We also want to always let this down as far as we can. So the, the point of it is, so this float is as close to the bottom as possible. So that's your SS3 switch on a vertical unit. Same principle. SS3 switch on your horizontal unit. One thing I want to point out, when you put these units in an attic or in a garage situation, you need to make sure these things are level. Because if you don't, if you have your SS3 switch here and your lowest points over there, your water is going to run out. Just want to point that out. SS2 switch. Got the plunger. So as we put the SS2 switch on the highest part of the coil pan, the water will fill up, it'll come into here, and it kicks this out. Same principle right here. See how this is the primary drain, it's got the bigger hole, this is the smaller one. Same principle. I'll talk about how these wires in. They just you just break the low voltage 24 volt circuit to wire these in. So as the water kicks out the switch, shuts the system down. That's why they're called safety switches. And these are worth a fortune. They can save tens of thousands of dollars in damage. We are a firm believer in these. Please share, comment, and subscribe to our videos. Thank you.